All right, welcome back everybody. In this one, we are going to finish up the nav bar and uh, I'm going to cover a few things. Um, I might stop the video short um, after I talk about images and once we get the logo in there um, because there's a couple things I want to talk about with that. Um, but we also have to look at positioning and positioning is something that I will admit it's a little confusing. I'll explain it as best as I can. But uh, here's where we're at right now. The site is functioning great. Um, it's a very basic site, obviously. We don't have much in here yet, but it, it is working. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, where the logo is going to go. It's going to go up in here, top left corner. Okay, so we're going to head back over to our index. And what we're going to do is we're going to create, in this case, we're going to just use a, we're not going to put in a div. I guess we could put in a div, but why, why overcomplicate it? We're going to put it inside of an image tag, which is how you would do it with uh, HTML. Um, and we're going to put a class for this as well. And we're going to call this class logo. Oops, I always do that. It, it puts in the quotation for me and I end up doing it again. It's just second nature, I guess. Um, and we're going to look for the image. The source will be inside of images. And by the way, we don't need the two dots because we're inside of the index file, which is in the same folder as images. So we're going to go images. And this is going to be the logo.svg. I'm also going to go in here and just give it a width of 150. And that'll be in pixels. And I'm going to save that. And when you save that, you're going to see that the logo is there. It's actually right here. You can't see it, but it, it did place it. That's why there's more space up at the top now. The logo is there. Uh, it is white, so that you can't see it against the white background, but it, it, it did put it in. All right, and then it put the nav bar underneath. And we're going to get it so that it becomes part of the nav bar. Now, one thing I want to talk about with images, which is uh, pretty important, is the type of images that you use. And I briefly, really briefly touched on this when we were looking at the folder at the start. But, you know, most common picture on the internet will be JPEGs or WebPs, which are pretty common nowadays too. Um, if you need any sort of transparency in your image, even though this one doesn't have transparency, let's say you wanted like to cut out, uh, you know, maybe you just wanted a circle, cut out everything else transparent around this person hiking. Uh, PNG is a great option. That's, uh, that's one that uh, I would definitely recommend if you just want some simple transparency that you, you, you've made in Photoshop and you want that to reflect on the, in the website. But the last one I want to talk about is SVG. And SVG is a great format, a really excellent format for things like logos and icons and all sorts of stuff. Um, they are created with Illustrator or any type of vector program for that matter. Um, and I'm just going to open this up with, with uh, Illustrator so you can see what it looks like. Basically, these files are a lot different than um, pixel-based files. These are built using paths. So I'm just going to go into outline mode. I know you can't really see it clearly. I'm going to go back to preview. What I'm going to do, just so you can see, is I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a gray background behind there so you can actually see what's on the stage of this. Let me just send that to the back. There it is. Basically, this is the logo for this site. And because it is built in vector, no matter how close I get to this file, it's always going to look crisp and clean because it's made using uh, vector or Bezier paths, which are used or uh, were created using math. So it never loses quality. Uh, the great thing is if you got icons made in SVG, um, if you got logos made with SVG, anything that you've got made with SVG, can easily be scaled to any size. You don't ever have to worry about it looking bad. It's going to work really great. And of course, all the transparent parts are going to come in transparent. So definitely the best format for things like that. If you don't know Illustrator, I recommend learning Illustrator or some vector program so you can make them yourself. Uh, it's a lot of fun and it works really, really well. So like I said, in this case here, 
um, in our website. It's there. Can't see it, but it's there. I can even pull it and, you know, highlight it. It's there. We're going to put it into the nav bar. That's what we want. So we created a class logo and we're going to go back to our style uh, sheet and we're going to put under the nav, I would say, because that's what it's a part of just before for hero. We're going to start editing our logo class. Oops, not logo. Logo class. We're going to put it in there. And um, this logo class, you know, I'm thinking I don't want to screw up what I've got going on here. You know what? Um, I'm going to revise this right now before I get too far. Let's take this image. So we're back in the HTML. Let's cut this out. And actually, just so we don't overcomplicate things, let's let's put that image inside of the nav. Just paste that in there. You know, that way we don't have to position it separately. It makes more sense. We save that. It will now be part of that. But you'll notice that the buttons got pushed out and whatever. That's fine. We're going to fix that in a second. But now you'll see that the logo is part of the, the nav bar at the top. So let's go back to our CSS. Sorry about that. We'll go back to our CSS. We're still going to edit our logo class. Um, we want it to be centered within this nav bar. So let's do that. First, we're going to do align content. And we're going to center it. You don't see much of a difference. That's OK. You probably see it when the buttons go in. Uh, then we're going to, we want it to be on the left hand side of the nav bar. So if you remember from what we did up here with the list items, we are going to float it. We're going to float it to the left. Oops, not the left, to the left. Save. OK, and you see now the buttons have moved up because this is floating to the left. These are floating to the right and they're not, it's not pushing them down to the next line. All right. Now let's set up a few things for this. We're going to go to our margin for, oops, margin top because I don't like how close it is to the top. So let's just put a margin at the top of five pixels. Save that. Everything's starting to look good. Let's move it a little bit away from the left edge because I feel like it's right up, like it's right up to the edge of the browser. So let's go margin left. Let's go maybe 20 pixels on that. That'll move it away. Nice. Uh, one cool thing I, I do use quite a bit is you can set the width in here as well. And I feel like this is a better way to do it than to actually put it in the, in the what's it called, the HTML tag there. So let's go with a width of 150 and a height of about 40. And that's going to line up everything nicely. And that is going to keep those buttons in place. They're still usable. And we got the logo in there now, which is great. Okay. So that's how you'd place an image in that case. Uh, we've got it floating left. Like I said, it's up at the top. It's great. Um, because it's floating left, these guys that are floating right, they stay apart from each other. It's great. Okay, so this is really quick and easy. I'm going to stop the video here because the next one is going to be um, more of an explanation, I would say, than anything else. And it's going to be on positioning. And we are going to look at how to get this block right to the top. We're going to make sure that it's all set up properly. And actually, we might take this picture and slip it underneath that nav bar so that it uh, it just makes it look a little bit more um, polished. All right, so stay tuned for the next one.